What is the real value of $100 in various metropolitan areas? Just got this from the Tax Foundation about uh, 25 minutes ago. I thought it'd be fun to chat with about uh, with it about you. Chat about it with you. About it with it. <laughs> the chat. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> Lose my mind. All right. So this is from uh, Dateline August 28th, 2019, which happens to be today. And actually, what did the markets end up doing? I don't check it that much, but... Uh, I was wondering with this thing with England, all that's going on in England, the UK, that's done well. Oh, Dow was up quite a bit. Uh, NASDAQ up quite a bit. S&P up quite a bit. The uh, Treasury's down a little bit. All right, so we've had a, a good day in the stock market. There you go. All right, nothing wrong with that. All right. Uh, again, Tax Foundation, big, big fan. All right, so in May, the BEA, the Bureau of Economic Analysis, released new data covering differences in purchasing power, purchasing power in different metropolitan and non-metropolitan areas. In layman's terms, the data compares how much $100 can buy in different regions of the country. This post focuses on comparing purchasing power in different metro areas around the country. There are large differences in price level by region. In general, the regions where $100 buys the least are concentrated around large cities in the northeast in California. Yeah, I guess. I bet. Uh, conversely, $100 stretches the most in rural areas in the Midwest and Southeast. Yep, exactly. Yeah, look at that, man. Boston, Southern New Hampshire, a little bit in Portland, Maine, Seattle. Look at that. San Francisco, LA. I guess that's San Diego, San Francisco, Marin County or something like that. Denver. There's Phoenix. That's pretty good. And here we are. Good Georgia. Atlanta suburbs, Atlanta, North uh, Alabama. Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, IA, Dallas, Austin, Houston, San Antonio down here, right? I guess it's Dallas, Austin, San Antonio. Yeah, San Antonio right there. All right, cool. Well, let's take a look. Let's see. The blue is the cheapest. South Carolina, yep. Yeah. A little bit in Georgia. A little bit. Oh, man, right there. What, what county is that? It's Tennessee. So, ooh, te Metro. Right there. What? Cleveland? County is that man? Is that Chat Dal Dalton, Georgia? Yeah, that's got to be Chattanooga, right? Wait, it's blue. No, wait. Hundred dollars. Oh, four. Well, that looks like it's more expensive. I wonder if I can make this bigger. Let's see if we. Ah, shoot! That didn't make it bigger. I wonder if we can make it. Oh, there you go. Oh, the blue's expensive. Okay. No, oh, man, reds. Oh, I see what's okay. So basically, the blues you could buy more. I say that didn't make sense. Okay, gotcha. So Cleveland, Tennessee, and that's Dalton, Georgia. So a hundred dollars on average in the U.S. is you could buy a hundred twenty dollars worth of goods in Dalton, Georgia. In fact, that's where I'm getting my dog from. Dalton, Georgia. Cleveland, Tennessee is a freaking great town, man. It's awesome, Cleveland, Tennessee. I've been through there. It's beautiful. I mean, it's just a small, you know, Americana town. So a hundred dollars in Cleveland. Uh, would buy you $120 worth of goods. So Beckley, West Virginia. I had a good friend in the Army from Beckley, West Virginia. $100 in Beckley, West Virginia would buy you $132 worth of goods. What's that? That's uh, Danville, Illinois. Never heard of it, but it'd buy you $126. Denver, yeah. uh, $100 in Denver would only buy you $94. San Jose, $100 in San Jose only buys you $76. Bucks. That's nuts. Okay, cool. There's what's that? Miami. Hundred dollars in Miami buys buys you ninety two dollars in real purchasing power. Uh, Sandy Springs, Roswell. I guess they're calling us this whole metropolitan area. So hundred dollars in the metro Atlanta buys you hundred three dollars here. Then you go down to Albany, Valdosta. Let's see, we got Albany. Looking for uh. Look at Decatur, Alabama. Look for Madison, Gadsden. Mm, no, Huntsville, right there. A hundred dollars in Huntsville buys you a uh, hundred eleven dollars worth. Go up to Cumberland County, Maine, right there. Hundred dollars in in Portland, Maine, only buys you ninety seven bucks. Maricopa County, Phoenix, hundred dollars in uh, Phoenix buys you a hundred two dollars there. And then lastly, San Antonio. Uh, I guess, I guess, yeah, San Antonio, about 105. All right, that's interesting to me. Um, and anyway, let's keep going now. 
Table one shows the most 50 most expensive San Jose, Santa Cruz, Honolulu. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look at Hawaii, did I? $100 in Alaska only buys you $92 in, in Anchorage. And then, uh, it doesn't, and then the rest about a hundred bucks in Alaska buys 102, the regular part. And Honolulu, a hundred dollars only buys you $80 worth of goods in Honolulu. And then whatever this place is called, um, is that the big island? It buys you about 90, no, right about even, even Steven. All right, so you got Napa, California, look at California, New Jersey, New York, PA. Look at that, man, right up in there. That's a whole New Jersey corridor in New York right there. It's just expensive to live up there, man. Look at that, 81 bucks. See, there's Boston, $89. There's Portsmouth. Yeah, it's a whole Boston place there. All right, so, uh, I mean, all the typical Oxners, San Diego, Boston, Seattle, uh, Los Angeles, Washington, Arlington, D.C. area, uh, Vallejo, Fairfield, California, IA. So, I mean, all the, the places in the West, Seattle, and then, uh, and then uh, New England, and then New York, and then D.C. area, too. It's got to be on there, right? Yep, D.C. area right there. 100 bucks in D.C. buys you 84 bucks. And uh, my stomping grounds is Baltimore. Man, look at that. Even only buys in 93 bucks in Baltimore. How about Delaware? There you go. 112 bucks in Delaware. That's what I'm talking about because Delaware is cheap, man. I'm telling you, for expense taxes and whatnot. Yeah. 100 bucks in that part of Virginia buys in 114. Is that Rockham County? Yeah, right here. Harrisonburg. 100 bucks in Harrisonburg buys 112 worth of good. And uh, Augusta County buys 117. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so the cheapest place to live. The 15 least expensive, Beckley, West Virginia, Danville, Illinois, Morristown, Tennessee. Rome, Georgia, right on, man. Rome, Georgia's right over here. They got a minor league baseball team, single A. Um, Cleveland, Tennessee, Morristown. That's up towards, that's up, I think Johnson City's right over here. Man, look at that. I'm not telling you, man, Tennessee is the place to be. It's just cheap. Look at that, 100 bucks in this part of North Carolina. I don't even know what that is. $118 worth. That's what I'm talking about. It could be on the water. Look at that. Nuts. What's that? Central Park. Sebring, Florida. $100 buys you $120 worth there. So Jackson, Tennessee. Gadsden, Alabama. Jonesboro, Arkansas. Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Isn't that where Rush Limbaugh's from? Uh, Albany, Albany, Georgia. Cleveland, Tennessee. Yeah, dude. Look at Georgia, Tennessee. Jefferson City, Missouri. I someone moved there. Um, Jefferson City, and they liked it a lot. I don't know anything about it. You got two places in Illinois there: Carbondale and Marion. Where's uh, uh, where's Missouri? Jefferson City, Missouri. Uh, Jefferson County, Missouri. That's uh, that's, that's cool. All right. Well, I hope this helps. That's uh, I'll put a link in the show notes. But you know where to move if you're looking to move to a cheap place: Beckley, West Virginia. Uh. You know, any place in, in Tennessee for the most part. I, I'm going to say Knoxville is not going to be there. Nashville. Yeah, Nashville's about even Stephen with the rest. There's Knoxville. Oh, Idaho. Interesting. Where's my place? Rapid City. Right there. $100, $100 in Rapid City buys me 110 Yeah, yeah. 100 bucks in Sioux Falls buys me 109 There's Fort Drum. Right there, hundred dollars in Watertown, New York, buys me one hundred one. <laughs> uh, I'll put a link in the show notes. Let's see what else they got. Real value of hundred dollars in your state. We just kind of did that. Real value of hundred dollars in metro areas. Yeah. All right. I hope this find this helpful. Don't forget to smash and like. We'll see you next time.